Okay, so welcome to another session. We get ourselves started in the chair, first of all. So support the chair. If you're not bowled up right, you're going to move in and out of that uh, position. Feet are grounded, hands relaxed. Just soften your gaze, eyes closed, whatever makes uh, you feel comfortable with. And then just bring your attention to your breathing. At this stage, you're not trying to change it, do anything different with it. Just become, bring your awareness and your attention fully onto the breathing. Nice and slow, you're going to begin to take a deeper breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Deeper still. Begin to notice this rise and fall of the ribcage, that breath in. In tension into the spine to extend, allow more space for the lungs to move down, breath out. In. Bring that chin into it as well, that lift. Breath in to that neutral position. Out breath, look over the shoulder. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out, opposite. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. In, breath out, in, breath out, Deep breath into the middle, all that tension to grow nice and tall, the lift of the chin, Should breathe out, down, just hold that relaxed position, Keep yourself nice and relaxed. So come out from that relaxed position, back to that whole start posture. You ready, shoulders this time, breath in. Shoulders up to the ears. Breath out. Relax. Shoulders down, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, bring those arms in, clench those fists, keep that tension there, good. Let the tension go. Breath in, shoulders, arms, hands, neck. And that's good arms, lift the arms. And breath extend, raise as high as you really can. And down. And then again, if you need help, assist, in breath and lift, out and lower.
Hold that relaxed position. So, there, okay. A little bit of the hip control, so that come from that relaxed position up tall, and relaxed and tall. So, from that relaxed position, breath in, grow as tall as you can. Feel those back extensor muscles tensioning, and then let them go. Then, Excellent. Okay. So again, the next uh, trunk ones can be done sitting or standing. Choose. <laughs> Stay in your sitting or bring yourself into standing. And then go side to side since so the breath in first. Still grow nice and tall in the trunk, extend the ribcage, and then relax down into that flex position to the side. In, and then breath in. Roll to the other side. Good. Back to that neutral position. Feet a bit wider. Soften those knees if you're in standing. Sitting wise, just uh, you stay as you are. And again, take your breath in. Grow as tall as your spine will let you. Keep those knees soft. And then on the out breath, relax round. Back in tall, breath out and round. Last one, and then into the middle, breath in. Just breath out and relax. Good. 
Okay, uh, hold spinal flexion. Feet back in, shoulder width. Breath in, tension on. Feel the spine extending. And relax round, chin down. How far you go, your decision. Reverse leg. Okay, good. Breath in. Breath out. In. Breath out. So back up from there, a little bit of marching through the lower limbs. Good, plant the feet, a little bit of knee bending. Again, how deep you go, your decision. And good through the tiptoes. And there, uh, good stuff. All right, body's nice and warm. We'll bring our weights into the next session. <clears throat> Yes. Legs, arms, and trunks. We'll do um, two to three sets of each. Okay. And using our old favorite squat. So again, the numbers is always up to 30. That's the number I'll be doing, but you can do 5, 10, 15. If you're new, 5 to 10. If you're been coming a while, you'll know what that rep range is by now. You work around there a little bit more if you can. So off we go. And down. Ten. Twenty. Five, five. Good. Arms wide, you can come forward, shoulder height. And raising the arms in front, we'll do up to 20. Again, you choose the rep range, five to 10 as your beginners. I'm a bit more confident, build them up. You know what that range is you're on. So arms forward. And Uh, 
thing. Plenty. Good. Got one weight away. Back in on the trunk. Side bend, reaching down. 15 on one side, 15 on the other, or up to 15. Then more reaching sides. Same principle then reaching down, cross, turn to the side, up to fifteen. And more reps. Good. Okay. So bring that other weight back in. Repeat that cycle. Response first of all. Again. You work your own ability, you want to rest now, rest now, it's fine. Otherwise, up to 30, working on those reps, you should know by now. So, here we go. Then okay, let's go. to go Very good okay front raise this hands to shoulder height in front up to 20. off we go And um. and to good stuff, right? I'll set them with the side bends. One way out of the way, to the side, cross. Oh, 
five. Next one. Side. And turn. And yeah, good. Okay, so legs, arms, and trunk. In pushes weights out of the way. The next action down onto the mat doing our mat work. So, see you down there. Yeah, uh, toes, hands under shoulders, knees are under hips. It's just that roll forward and back of the pelvis. You know, start small. A little tilt and the turn. First of all, the head is still, the ribs are still to begin. Gradually, gradually. Let's move through the trunk. Whole spine, ribs, head, and neck coming in. Pause in there, hold your neutral hands slightly forward, keep the bottom down. Stretch out the hips, knees, back, shoulders. Keep breathing in this position. Holding in that neutral position, nice and simple, slide the leg away and extend and down. Good. I'm going to make it a bit more challenging. Opposite arm works with opposite leg. Four, three, two, 
and uh, that's the hands back on the shoulders, knees on the hip, tilt the pelvis, loosen out of the lower back, feel those muscles of the lower back and bottom when they've been working. Again, yeah, knee hands forward, sit the bottom down, stretch, release that tension. <clears throat> so from the kneeling position, onto your tummy. So with the lower back, middle back working, with your arms at the side, gear level one, shoulders are drawn back, arms lift, upper body lifts, head stays neutral. Feel all the back extensors working. Sitting or standing tall in the warm up. Can make that a bit more challenging, hands at shoulder height. More. Come down. Arms relax for a moment. Put attention to the legs. So legs straight. Lift the leg. Come down. And the opposite. And opposite arm and opposite leg. So if the left leg's lifting, right arm lifts, down, right leg, left arm. Okay, hands under the shoulders, so back into the kneeling position. And then just take a moment to bring yourself. So, when you're on your tummy, you're in extension, so you want to come into flexion. So, loose. Sit down.
And now to the stretch, bring yourself round onto your side. In this position, just put the legs straight to begin. And then tuck the feet back. Place. So legs are straight and then drop the feet behind you. So if you're looking down, your knees are in line with your body. Okay, first part of it is just that top leg lift and lower. We'll do, or well, I'm going to do 20. Remember, you can do up to 20, so 5, 10, 15, you work in your way. So raise and go. Um. Yeah, and the next exercise, leg comes part way up this time, so not a big lift, and then you're going to glide it forward, keep it in that good alignment, don't let it sink down, and return, and then you're going to repeat. This time be up to 15 on this one. Okay, good. Starting to feel it all in and around this part here, your trochanter region, muscles at your bottom, and the adductors are working strongly. Now you're going to try and combine those two movements together. Okay, so up to 10 for this one. So it's a lift, down, sweep, and return. So it's one, two, three, four, remember, always work at your own ability. Four, Challenging yourself, feel your pain symptoms. Don't want to make it too noisy, you can ease back. Focus on the breathing and your stretches. Well. Yeah, if you're still feeling fighting fit, a little bit more, give, extend that top leg out, do five this time, so it's a lift, down, sweep and return. So, all right, so that side working, my left leg, not be yours, the opposite. We swing ourselves over to the opposite. Again, the start position, legs extended, then you drop the feet back behind you. First exercise, top leg lift and lower. Raise and down. Okay. 
10, going up, up to 20, anywhere in between. Part one, second part then, as we did before, part way up, sweep the leg forward, keep it nice and level and controlled, then let it sink in that line so up to 15. Ten and the rest of the community. Okay, so next step combining those two for ten reps. So lift down forward. Again, four, ten, three more. Good. Okay, and then the last little part, leg extended. You said it, we're all feeling it around here. If it's too much, just to stop, have a rest. It's absolutely fine. You know, I mean, to give it a bit more challenge, kick. Side and then kick forward. Very easy and yeah. excellent stuff. Okay, knees round onto your backs then. So on this, as we just start, bring our feet and knees together, just let the knees gently roll side to side. Getting that tension off. That is fine. So I'll start position, head, shoulders relaxed. It's easy to bring those tummy muscles into action. You can take your right hand, and we reach up, tap the outside of the left knee. So it's a lift and a turn, and back down. And then similarly, left hand taps the outside of the right knee. No sneaking those knees in closer. But lift and rotate. Lift and rotate. And to support the head and neck, hands behind, and rotate, and turn, and rotate, and turn. Good. 
You make it a little bit more challenging. In the knee up as you irritate. And down, left elbow comes towards the right knee. If you're feeling quite confident, want to challenge it a little bit more. One knee up, both knees up. And it's elbow across. And turn. And turn the other opposite. Level one, feet are down, just reaching to the opposite knee. Level two, as you rotate across, you raise the knee. Level three, as you hold the knees in the air. Okay, so you're in control, you choose the level. You feel your abdominals have worked enough, then just rest. Absolutely fine. Three, two, last one. Try not to crash the legs to the floor. Bring the knees in, well and gently. Nice and easy, let that tension off. Back in there. <clears throat> so bottom lifting, so it's that starts with the tilt of the pelvis and then relaxing away. Tilt, start to begin to think about that lift. The pelvis comes off the mat, off the floor. Higher and higher each time. Nice and tall then in that high bridge position. This time as you drive the hips up, you want to hold that position. And down, small the mark, mount and squeeze and lift. And squeeze and lift. From there, easy. Put those legs away. Toes up, knees down. A nice deep breath. Let's put your knees in, knees to the side. there. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of work now through the hip control. Uh, level one, hip twist, knee rolls to the side, control back in, opposite leg, knee rolls out, rolls in. Yep. 
Gonna hit control, gonna make the control a bit harder. So you draw the knee up to the side, draw in and down, and the opposite. Work on level one, feet down, level two, lift, roll out, roll in. A bit more challenging and level three, one knee up, both knees up, hold that position, knee to the side, turns opposite side. So. And boys, you can go down the level if you need to. Look at your own level. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. Again, hands on. Bring me in. Relax them down. Where the legs goes up, knees down, nice couple of deep recovery breaths. Okay, so knees bent into the cool down, then some knees together, gentle wind down, knees side to side. The uncommon feel a little click or a release. Of air in the joints. Nothing harmful there. Go over to one side this time, just hold the tension there. Good. And across the other side. Good, right, left foot sits over the right knee. You're going to reach down, pick up that right leg. If it feels too much, you can just draw the foot and the knee towards you. And then just get that stretch deep in that left gluteal, buttock region. Switch. Thing. Leg outstretched, one leg tucks in, reach down to that outstretched leg. Right. 
Is that kneeling position then? Last couple of bits. Forward and back to the pelvis. You take your hands around to one side. As you lower your bottom down, stretching all the way through. So I've got left, that's my right shoulder, rib cage, lower back, hip. Yep, that's it. Last time in the middle. Okay, head above the chest, slowly, slowly then, easing yourself onto your feet. That change in blood pressure, feeling a bit like headed at times. Very good. So a lot of stretches to finish, to the side. To the side. Just a bit more motion, arms forward, turn the trunk. Yeah, a nice breath in. Roll down to finish, as long as it doesn't be feeling lightheaded, then just stay upright. Knees out from there, then finishing feet underneath of the hips, the cut the ribs, shoulders back. Chin tucked in, weight even over the feet. Nice breath in. Breathing out to finish. Well done. Till next time.